tanong, anong mga music apps ang ginagamit ko sa music ministry ng aming church? In this video, I'll share my nine essential music apps. So keep watching because you can learn something. Good day, mga amigo, mga amiga, and welcome to my new channel, Musika Niken, where I will share time-saving tips for learning and creating music on the iPad. My name is Kuya Ken, and I serve as a music minister in our local Bible-believing Trinitarian monotheistic Christian church. So, why would I need an iPad in the first place? Hindi kasi lahat ng involved sa music ministry ay full-time musicians. Tulad ko na may full-time job, it's a bit challenging to fit in my ministry on top of my regular work schedule. That means wala kang full-time access sa music library or music studio or even just access sa piano or any musical instrument during the week. Lalo na ngayon na naka-lockdown dahil sa COVID-19. Armed with an iPad, with an iPad, I can bring my music studio, my music library, and my musical instruments with me anytime, anywhere. Ngayon, bakit ko pinili itong 9 music apps? It would be helpful siguro kung malaman natin kung anong mga ginagawa ko or yung mga tasks ko bilang isang music minister sa church. First, namimili ako ng mga songs para sa choir or small singing groups or instrumental. Songs na relevant sa message ng pastor for that Sunday or relevant sa occasion. Songs na doctrinally sound. Then, I compile those songs into my library para madali na lang maghanap ng mga songs kung babalikan mo siya uli. Like songs sa Christmas, songs during the Holy Week. Since I play the keyboard during Sunday services, I should be able to read sheet music na wala masyadong distraction sa pagpiplay. Sometimes you need to be able to write musical notations to recreate songs sa mga old na mga hymnals na malapit ng mapunit, to write new arrangement para sa choir at sa pianist, or just writing song ideas. I also create backing tracks or minus one kung tawagin. Like during Christmas cantatas, we have a full orchestral accompaniment para sa aming choir with the piano part being played live and the backing tracks play the rest of the instruments like the strings, the horns, and the percussions. Sa ganitong mga performances, ako din ang trigger ng mga songs na dapat i-play back. Sometimes nagpapatugtog ako ng background music during announcement time or during special activities, even sound effects sa mga icebreaker games. And while playing keyboards during worship services, I play instrument sounds other than piano. I don't have to double up with the sound of the piano. One tip sa pag-play together with other instrumentalists is to play in your own tonal space and not overlap with the other instruments. So while playing together with the piano, my right hand could be playing the string sound and my left hand could be playing the bass. So, I need to have different instrument sounds na mag-fit sa arrangement ng song. Sometimes, I am tasked to perform instrumental solo. So, I need to have an instrument that I could use on such occasions. Later on, we'll see kung itong mga apps na napinili ko kayang i-cover lahat ng mga tasks na ginagawa ko. So, isa-isayin natin ang mga iPad music apps na ito. Number one, Garage Band. It's a musical instrument. Pwede kang mag-play ng keys. Guitars. Bass. and percussion instruments. There's a smart version for every instrument, so kahit hindi ka marunong magtugtog, you could start making music.
it is also a sound source or a sound module. So if you have an external keyboard controller, you would be able to play the various instruments. It's also a recording studio. I can record vocals, guitars, or any live performances. Mix all your recordings and then create a backing track. I can then publish and share the file with my music team. Number two. Notion. It's a musical notation app. You could write full choir arrangement with piano accompaniment or write a simple lead sheet with the song melody, lyrics, and chords. Number three, Sheet Music Scanner. Unlike other scanners, this app takes a photo of a sheet music, tapos itutugtog niya yung music based on the notation na ma-recognize niya sa page. When it does that, it's like hearing what you see. This app comes in handy, lalo na pag naghahanap ako ng mga songs for a certain occasions. It's a quick way of auditioning the songs. Instead of going to the piano, isa-scan mo na lang siya, tapos maririnig mo na kung ano ang tono ng music. Number four, four score. Ito yung app na ginagamit ko mag-compile ng sheet music. I can organize my sheet music alphabetically, by topics, composers, or occasions, making it easy to search for a song later on. It also eliminates paper page turns, lalo na sa makakapal na himnal na ang hirap i-maintain na bukas while playing your instrument. You can insert buttons sa mga pages, making it easy to do repeats, jumps to bridge or coda, without flipping through several pages. Hindi na rin ako magdadala ng heavy song binders since all my music are stored digitally. Within the music pages, pwede ka maglagay ng mga annotations like performance notes, singer's notes or chords, and other text. These are non-destructive so pwede mo siyang iburahin or you could just save it together with a file. Another benefit of this app is you could create set lists. Ibig sabihin, different songs pwede mo siya ma-arrange in a sequence para sa isang worship service, hindi ka na mag-open ng separate na mga songbooks. You can insert placeholders for scriptures, announcements, and chord charts. It can store MP3 accompaniments also together with the sheet music. So, pwede mong i-play yung music while reading the notes. Number five, Prime. This app plays your backing tracks. Pero unlike sa MP3 na minus one, the backing track is actually composed of separate instrument parts na pwede mo i-adjust ang individual volume. Pwede ko i-adjust ang instrument mix depende sa needs at that time. For instance, pwede ma-mute ang guitar parts kung may nagpi-play live ng gitara. Or you could solo just your piano part para sa mga parts ng service na medyo quiet. Pwede mo ring ma-slice up ang accompaniment mo into song sections. So you could do chorus repeats, 
or omit the chorus on certain verses without stopping the music. Add a click track or voice count ins to create cues para sa ibang mga instrumentalist na nag-play together with the backing tracks. Down chorus. Two. Number six, DJ2. As you can see, it's a DJ turntable. Ito usually yung player na ginagamit ko sa choir rehearsals and even sa actual performances where you won't need na i-adjust yung individual instruments sa uh, backing tracks. Ang kagandahan nito is that you could change the tempo and the pitch independently. So, pwede mo siyang taasan ang pitch without changing ang speed ng song. Or you could speed up the song without changing the pitch. I'm using this also as a sound effects board, which is useful sa Sunday school storytelling, church dramas or plays, background music sa mga fellowship, and game sound effects para sa timer, correct and wrong answers. Number 7, Korg IM-1. It's an app recreation of Korg M1, isa sa mga popular na synthesizer back in the 80s and 90s. In fact, M1 ang main keyboard ko sa church. I know, it's old, pero classic. You can create keyboard splits, meaning iba yung sound na piniplay ng right hand kaysa left. Create keyboard layers, ibig sabihin, you can trigger several instrument sounds by just pressing one key. And pwede mo rin siya ma-program na depende sa lakas ng pag-play mo, iba't ibang sound ang ma-produce ng app. Number 8, iFretless Saxophone. This is a crossbreed app of a saxophone sound and a bass guitar playing surface. Mas madali kasi mag-play ng mga fast solo part sa ganitong playing surface compared sa linear na keys ng piano. Number 9, Finger Fiddle. It's a violin on the iPad. That's it. As you can see, these essential apps pretty much cover lahat ng task na dapat kong gagawin. Sana may natutunan kayo. At sa mga susunod na videos, pag-aralan natin kung paano gamitin yung mga apps na ito. Which brings us to the question of the day. Which of the music apps I just mentioned do you want to learn more? Let me know in the comment section. Before we end, I'll leave you with a Bible verse. Whether therefore ye eat, or drink, or make music, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Kita kit sa susunod na video. Kuya Ken here, signing off.